If you're up to date on all of your favorite authors and you're looking for something new to read, the Novelist Database has some recommendations for you. In this video, I will go over how to find read-alikes or books similar to ones you've already read. To access Novelist, go to the eResources, Research Databases, scroll down to Books and Literature, find a Novelist on the list of databases, Click Connect Now. If you're accessing from home, you may be asked for your library card number. And then once the Novelist database loads, put in some search terms for a book or an author you enjoy. A list of that author's books will come up, and you can review and see if maybe there's one that you've missed. If you're up to date on all of their works, now it's time to go look for some read-alikes. There are several ways to access read-alikes. Uh, the first is the author read-alikes, which you can access by clicking the link underneath each listing. This will bring up a write-up of various authors that are in some way similar to the author you already know you like. And under each name, it will give you a little information about why they think that author is like the one you are familiar with. You can also click on the title read-alikes, and this will bring up a different list for each title that the link is under. And again, it will give you a list of books and tell you why they think that is like the other book. You can also access that same list of title read-alikes in a different way by clicking on the actual title of the book, and then it will have read-alikes of it down the side of the page. And this way does not have the reasons why it's alike, but it will give you covers and a clickable link that will take you directly to the listing for that particular book. Um, from the listing for that book, you can click the check the library catalog link, and it will open the Mobile Public Library's catalog listing in a new tab. And from that listing, you can check and see if that book is currently on shelf. And you can also place a hold for the book using the place hold link if it's currently checked out or not at the branch you typically frequent. You can get more information about placing holds and how holds work by looking at our holds video that's available on this same channel. When you're through with our catalog or you want to go back to, to look for more suggestions, you close out that tab and it will take you back to Novelist. On Novelist, I hit back to go back to Connie Willis's page and I can scroll down and look at some more read-alike suggestions. If you don't have a particular author or title in mind to search read-alikes on, you can also browse. If you go up to Quick Links, you can select Author Read-alikes. And this will bring up a list of authors for you to scroll through. When you've located an author that sounds familiar or someone that you know you like, you click on their name. And that will bring up a write-up by actual human beings that details why people like this author and recommends other authors that you may like. Because of the level of detail in these write-ups, this is also a really good way to figure out if an author you've heard of but haven't read before might be someone that you're interested in. Using read-alikes is my favorite way to find recommendations on Novelist, but there are lots of other ways to browse. You can search by appeal or genre. There are also plenty of pre-made lists of recommendations. So while you're on Novelist, take a minute to check all the different options they provide. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for further tutorials on how best to use library resources. And as always, thank you for watching.